everyone, Jolly right here. Welcome back for another video. And today we are going to take a look again this wonderful camera that I have right now. This is the Sony HX99. And today we are here right now at Sunset Boulevard, Los Angeles. It's almost noon time, but still very pretty cold right here. Yep, cold enough for me to walk around, but what else can you do in a lazy Sunday morning? Back to this camera. I didn't tweak anything out of the box is what you get. All I did was changing the resolution from 4K to 1080, that's it. The Sony HX99 is light compared to other point-and-shoot cameras, especially its advanced brother, the Sony RX100 series. Though the build quality of the camera is made of hard plastic, but sturdy enough, durable enough to handle, and that is why it's light. Let's take a short pit stop because we need to check this out. The Sony HX99 also has the steady shot, but it's not a gimbal-like thing or a GoPro Hero 7 magic, though it's good enough for something that doesn't have. And what I like the most is, so far the zoom capabilities of this camera is the one that I really like. And you have seen how it works twice at the Hollywood sign and at NBA game LA vs Golden State Warriors. And aside from that one, I think there is no other point-and-shoot camera that can do this or moreover, I intend to replace my iPhone from shooting videos and definitely the iPhone doesn't have a zoom like that too. What I also like is that this one flips like that and you can frame yourself using a 4K right in front of your face. Definitely you can do some talking while you're walking. So this is how I'm doing it right now. You can frame yourself like that. There we go. And you can do it like that and see yourself if you are in the right frame in the right time. But of course, there is something that you don't like for sure. Nothing is perfect. It's the audio. The audio recorded from the HX99 is kinda thin and picks up noise easily. Especially if wind blowing through you, you won't be able to put some filter on it. It's not a deal breaker, but you can always bring a separate audio recorder such as the Zoom F1 or a Tascam DR10 that you can clip in your belt. Okay, so this is for those videographers who want versatility, especially with the Zoom. The Zoom is the best that I've seen so far in a point and shoot camera. And aside from that one, what I like with this is that it replaces the iPhone and definitely I'm not gonna use the iPhone anymore for video. Maybe for photo, but not for video. And it shoots 4K. And it fits in your pocket. So this is for those who want a little versatility and sort of a backup camera on their rig. So main camera, yes, maybe. But for me, I'm bringing this as my third camera. Of course, I bring along the GoPro Hero 7, the DJ also pocket, and this new member of the family, the Sony HX99.